Here we are for another shipping video, and uh, if you haven't been following our work already, if you don't know what Emerald Guitar shipping videos are all about, really it's just the time of the week where we have a look at the guitars that we're shipping out, look at the specifications, look where they're going around the world, and get to share them with you. So it's always a good insight into just what happens in the background of Emerald, and we always add in some other little bits of information for you. And, uh, and this week, what I want to really draw your attention to is the competition that we've been running over the, the month of March. So if you haven't already seen the competition, I'm not quite sure where you've been because we've been putting it out all over the place, but we are running a competition to win your dream guitar. So uh, what that's all about is you have to go to the Emerald Guitars website, go to the 3D Builder, design your dream guitar, go back to the Emerald Guitars Facebook page and find the post that's pinned at the top of our page and put your dream guitar in the comments. So all you have to do is just take a screenshot or go to the share section on, uh, in, the, in the builder and, uh, and take a JPEG or a GIF and just put it on there and put a link on it if you want as well to the actual build. And it just allows you to, um, to share that dream with the world and let the, the other uh, people in the world then comment on your, uh, and like your, your dream guitar. Sorry, I'm messing that all up, aren't I? Um, so anyway, uh, that's it, very simple. Uh, and if you go in there and have a look at the other entries, you'll see kind of how it works and, and, uh, and how people are interacting. The great thing about it is we've been able to see so many different designs. And, uh, you know, we see them in the shipping video here as finished pieces. But there on that, um, if you go down through that feed, there's, I don't know, maybe a, a thousand or more different entries there now. So many different designs that people have put in there. And it's great to just see how different people have, uh, have you know, come up with different designs, different color combinations. Um, so it's a lot of fun to actually do that. Spend some time in the 3D Builder at emeraldguitars.com. You're not gonna be disappointed there. It's a, it's a good experience. And uh, the most likes wins. Um, I'm seeing some people being really, really clever with it. They're sharing it among their friends. They're maybe, you know, some people are getting on social media and asking people to come and, and like their posts. So there is some that have got quite a lot on there. So that's the challenge for you as well. Go in uh, and see if you can draw some attention to your post. Get your friends to like your, uh, your design. And the one with the most likes at the end of the month is going to win the dream guitar. Any guitar that can be built on our 3D builder uh, to any value and we'll ship it anywhere in the world. So that's a pretty good competition. And there's another competition, and I'll tell you about it at the end of the, the video. Um, okay, so let's jump in and have a look at some guitars. So the first one's going to Philip in Ohio. And uh, he's got this beautiful gold amicus. And um, at this time of year, we're, uh, you know, obviously it's uh, St. Patrick's Day this week. Um, so uh, we start to think about all things Irish. And the amicus is... I think it fits really, really well with Celtic music. Um, a lot of people will associate the mandolin uh, or the bouzouki to Celtic music. And I think it's just that uh, the unison strings, the double strings, just really kind of bring out that sparkle and sound. But the amicus sits really, really well into that bracket as well. Gives that same kind of mandolin kind of tone. Um, but uh, the way it's configured, the, the way the, it's a 12-string a instrument, it just kind of, I think, fits better for a... Um, for a guitar player. So it is really, we talk about it often as being the mandolin for a guitar player. And, uh, and it really delivers that way. Uh, finished in our vibrant weave and this beautiful gold color and the gold hardware. And uh, that's a really nice guitar. Now we're coming to two almost identical, but both entirely unique guitars. Uh, two of our Virtuo guitars. And the first one's going out to John in Ontario. So this is Royal Ebony and it's got uh, all our black hardware and this beautiful um, the Celtic vines running up the, the neck here and black tuners on the headstock and then vibrant red carbon back and sides and it's a color combination that uh, just really really pops um, if you haven't seen the videos that Justin Johnson has done on uh, on our guitars then please go and check them out uh, Justin has a red Virtue almost identical to this, and uh, he loved that specification, and I think a lot of others have as well. So, um, so yeah, definitely check out Justin Johnson's video. He just launched a new, um, put up a new video this past week that's just superb, absolutely superb. So, 
So uh, yeah, beautiful color combinations on that. And as I say, two very similar. So J Daniel in Utah has gone the same route. Similar, but very unique, as you can see. That's the great thing with the Royal Ebony. Um, you get that, uh, that really unique pattern. Uh, no two pieces are the same, so uh, so really does something different. So if we look at Daniel's individually, um, it's got uh, some beautiful patterning here in the Royal Ebony. Love this section down here, this little triangle is sort of standing down here at the bottom of the guitar. Uh, just so much detail, detail and pattern. Running up into this sort of lighter center. Frames the pickups beautifully. You know, you've got this darker wood running out the side and, uh, and frames the neck. So it's just that kind of detail that I love and um, executed really well. And again, same back and sides. So, uh, really nice pair of virtues to start. And uh, then the, this one is going out to Leslie in Massachusetts. And um, I think this is what's really cool about the builder is that you can visualize these guitars on the builder and really get a good feel for something that's totally different and unique. And uh, you know, this is a very different contrasting set of colors. Um, this is Zercotti. Zercotti has great patterns and colors as well. Goes great with the gold hardware and the gold dots here. And uh, we love finding like, nice little pieces of character in the, uh, in the designs. That little piece of, piece of light wood is wrong just down here. Just gives it so much pop, I think. Just really makes it stand out. Uh, say gold hardware, gold tuners on the headstock. Those uh, really cool uh, Goto 510s. And then the black carbon back and sides. So uh, I think black carbon goes really nicely with, um, uh, with Zercotti. I think it's because of the black lines that run through it. So something that has those jet black lines, I think works really nice with the black carbon. And then another one that's kind of gone a slightly similar route, uh, certainly with the black color combination. This one's going out to Matthew in Utah. And uh, this is uh, an X20. Um, with uh, red royal, Eb or, sorry, green royal ebony, and um, again, you know, you see how well royal ebony works when you put a color over it. Uh, you just get all that really nice contrast and colors and patterns. Uh, this one, the green combination with the the gold Celtic knots, and uh, I think that works really well for the week that's in it. Um, nice Celtic look there, and uh, and it's gone for black carbon back and sides, and that uh, that contrasts really nicely. Um, I think the, the automatic choice is to, is to go green with green, um, but, uh, but you can see the color contrast as well works just as well. And then with the black uh, on the carbon, running into the black lines on the top, I think that ties together really well. Now, Michael in Colorado. So uh, apparently Michael is uh, a river guide on the Salmon River in, uh, in Idaho. And, um, I spent a, a fantastic summer there uh, a couple of years ago in Lake Cascade, and uh, so I know that area really well. Um, so yeah, he's looking for a guitar that uh, that apparently he can take out there and can handle the elements, and uh, this would sit very nicely on the Salmon River, I'm sure. Um, so uh, so this one is another X20, and uh, the uh, the veneer on this, uh, I'm pretty sure is Powell Ferro. I didn't check in advance, but it's. Uh, to me, it looks definitely Pau Ferro. Um, I love the knots here. And uh, I don't know, if, let's see if we can, can you get zoomed in on there and, uh, and actually get them in focus? Probably hard to get in focus. But those knots, they have great movement. And uh, it's like a, almost like a holographic type thing goes on as you move them, they're just like they're winking at you. Um, I love how that looks. And I, I bet it's not coming across in the camera. But it really does, you can just see the, this, this really cool movement. Um, so beautiful pattern, two nice bits of the light wood there. And um, just a great color combination from the lighter browns right to the darker browns into blacks. Um, and uh, gone for black carbon back and sides. So a popular choice this week, sticking with the traditional carbon, uh, the natural carbon. And this one has our adjustable bridge. And that is uh, two different pickups really built into it. So um, you've got the six individual uh, piezo pickups here, 
and then also inside we've got our K&K &K Pure Minis as well. So uh, it's on two separate volume controls, so it's not a blender, it's actually two volume controls. So you can set uh, how much you want from each source and uh, that works really well. Um, you know, if you want to bring in a little bit more body, you can put it in the K&Ks or you want, you know, just more of a, that punchy sound of the piezos. Um, just really, it's very versatile. Also has a, a stereo output here, stereo or mono. So if you put a mono in here, you just blend on board. You put a stereo in here and it splits the two signals and you can handle them separately external to the guitar. So that's a really cool thing if you're uh, recording or, um, or just even setting up your stage setting. It uh, just gives you a little bit more control. So, um, so Michael, maybe when you're out there on the, on the Salmon River in Idaho, maybe send us a picture with your guitar. I'd love to see that. And maybe if you're a river guy, maybe you'll take me fishing sometime. I'd love to go back over there. I've been talking about doing that, and uh, maybe sometime in the near future that'll happen. Um, okay, so this one's going to Switzerland, to, uh, to Hans in Switzerland. Uh, this is a, a veneer that we actually haven't used very much recently and I'll tell you why it is. This, whenever you just look at the photographs and you compare all the other ones, I think people are always drawn to the, the, the things with the really, you know, nice patterns, uh, the flamboyant veneers, you know, obviously the, it's very easy to connect with a, a piece of royal ebony that has a very striking pattern or something. But this in the photographs maybe just doesn't look quite as, as vibrant, but this is Blackbird's Eye Maple. Um, but when you actually see it on a guitar, I think it's wonderful. Uh, I think whenever the, 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 the finish is put on it, it pops. You've got all the bird's eye, you've got the really nice green detail that's running through it. And, uh, and the coloring is, um, you know, we, we call it Blackbird's Eye, but it's not, it's, uh, it's really more of a, almost like a silvery gray and uh, the tones of it match almost perfectly to, um, to the carbon. It has that same kind of tones. In fact, if maybe if I, if I grab another guitar and show you the carbon on the back of a guitar, um, along with uh, the top, you can see just how it's very, very similar tones. And it's quite similar with our, our, uh, our quilted maple, the black quilted maple just brings out those really nice rich warm tones um, you know the nice grays and, uh, and silvery tones um, so yeah I think it's it's a great color combination uh, black hardware black carbon back and sides black uh, bird's eye maple the black carbon bridge black nuts and saddles just it all ties together really well the only thing maybe is missing is some black strings um, yeah and again uh, with the uh, with the dual pickup system and the adjustable saddles here. Then we've got Frank in New Jersey, and uh, Frank has gone for Koa, uh, this wonderful flame Koa. And uh, I was excited. It's a th funny the things that get me excited. Saturday night I was um, I was watching the rugby and Ireland beat England, uh, which is always a big occasion. Beat England in England, so that's an even bigger occasion. Um, so I watched the rugby, I was really excited. And then I got a notification on my phone from a veneer supplier to say they had some new Koa in stock. And uh, there and then I was able to buy some new Koa. Uh, so I'm not kind of sure what excites me more is the rugby or the Koa, but um, it's hard to get this kind of Koa. Uh, amazing flame detail, you can see it. It just has so much movement and so much pop. Uh, it's a really rich, vibrant gold. Uh, it's just about as good as it gets, really. And um, so it looks wonderful on this guitar. This guitar has been finished uh, with a, a custom inlay running up the neck with the vines, gold hardware to go with the golden koa, and it's a fan fret. So uh, fan fret six string, um, which is really cool. Uh, and then vibrant red back and sides. You know, so that, I think that works uh, really well. We've, we've done some others. Um, with red back and sides with Koa. And, uh, and at, at first you might think that it, it wouldn't work with, you'd want the gold on the top, but actually I think the red, I think it holds really well. Um, and this has our, uh, our high vibe pickup system on there as well. So, beautiful guitar. Now we should almost look at these two in conjunction because this week it's St. Patrick's Day and uh, got to do it that way around <laughs> so green 
Uh, me in the middle, and then gold. So there's the Irish flag for us right there. Um, so uh, perfect for this week. Um, I love the gold. I mean, since we started doing the vibrant weaves, it's become a really, really popular thing. You'll see, you know, the number. It's nearly 50% of the guitars that we have going out. And the reason people love it, you know, the, the colors on the natural carbon. Actually, I don't have any standard colored carbon here. It's either natural black carbon or, uh, or vibrant weaves. And when you put these colors over the black carbon, it's a really nice look. It's a really, it's a more subtle look. So uh, under bright light, it pops. But in the darker conditions, then it just doesn't have that same vibrancy. And that's why we started doing this vibrant weave that's actually a silver coated fiber. And uh, when we put the transparent colors over the top of this, it's just so much brighter. Um, but this bright gold is uh, just really shows that characteristic really well. Um, beautiful gold with the black fade all around the edges. And uh, just the, the nice gold ring detail running down the neck. So very nice character, very nice instrument. And uh, unusually, this is a guitar that has no pickup. Um, nearly everything that we do, if you've been following the shipping videos, has a pickup in it. But uh, on our builder, you get to build the guitar from scratch. So if you don't want a pickup and you don't need a pickup, then you don't need to put it in there. So uh, that's always a, a good choice if you're not going to use it. Just leave it out and uh, maybe use that budget on the inlays instead. Um, okay, so from gold to green, and uh, what a great guitar to finish on. Beautiful X2012 string, and um, this is a guitar that I'm sure could play a few beautiful Irish Celtic tunes. Uh, green guitar with the Celtic knots running up the neck in white, and, uh, and the gold string, so uh, really it's got that green, white, and gold going on on it there. The, uh, the famous colors of the Irish flag. And again, vibrant weave on the green back and sides. Uh, so that's a beautiful 12 string to finish with. So, oh, and I don't know if I mentioned the name, but that one's going to Guy in Pennsylvania. And did, I, did I mention the name on the other one? Maybe I got distracted. The gold one's going to David in California. Sometimes I do that, I lift the guitar and forget to mention who it's going to. So that's all the, the, the custom guitars that's going out. We also have a bunch of stock guitars that I've left here in the past week. And uh, we'll just go through them now. So the first one is going out to Nick in England. Um, it's an X10 with our, uh, our full pickup system with the MIDI, uh, finished in natural carbon. Then we have uh, Kurt in Pennsylvania, uh, an X2012 string, uh, finished in that beautiful red carbon. Then, uh, I gotta pronounce this right, Leons? Leon, uh, okay. I apologize for getting your name wrong, but that's a tricky pronunciation. Uh, in Canada, uh, a Virtuo with um, Casipo on the top. I love Casipo. I'd love to get some more Casipo veneer, um, but beautiful colors in that. Then we've got John in Norway, and uh, he's got a, an X20 Koa. And then we've got Danny in Rhode Island. Uh, it's um, a Virtuo with Lauro Preto. Uh, Laura Preto has just beautiful colouring on it, great patterns. Uh, Tom in Texas, an X10, and uh, with that red Harborica, and the beautiful inlay running up the neck. Then we've got Ray in Pennsylvania, uh, with an X7 Amber. Then Ed in New York, he's gone for the uh, black quilted maple uh, on an X20. Eric in Florida has gone for a Vibrant Weave Red X20. Matt in Georgia, uh, a Virtual again with the, um, the Black Quilted Maple. And uh, yeah, you gotta love the Black Quilted Maple. It's just such a great look on a, on a Virtual. Uh, then we have Leland in Washington, an X20 Nylon. Uh, this is finished in, uh, in Vibrant Weave in green. Uh, then we have Lara in Nevada and uh, a red carbon um, virtual to finish with. So that's it for this week. Uh, fantastic range of guitars. And I did say I was going to tell you about a second video. Um, so we're running, or sorry, not a second video, a second competition. So we're running two competitions this month. The, the dream, when you're, you're sorry, the, the design your dream guitar video. 
Uh, and the second one we're doing this month is actually to get a full refund on uh, your purchase price of your guitar. So if you've placed an order uh, during the month of March, for right from midnight on the 1st of March to uh, midnight on the 31st of March, uh, any time in that uh, time period, if you've bought a normal guitar during that month, um, you're going to go into a draw to, uh, to have your full purchase price refunded. So um, yeah, so it's pretty easy. You just have to buy your dream guitar and you might get it for free. It's pretty easy, win-win situation. So uh, if this is the month that you're maybe thinking possibly about buying a guitar, then uh, definitely get in. Um, so two ways to win a guitar this month. Um, so get in there in those competitions. Check out what we're doing online. And remember, if you want to see these videos regularly, just uh, subscribe on our YouTube channel uh, or on our Facebook page. And the other thing I just want to say as well, maybe a couple of people have said, well, how come this competition is only available to people on Facebook? Uh, and I don't have a Facebook account. Unfortunately, that's the way it is. It was the only platform really that we felt this worked on uh, for a sharing platform. Facebook is the best thing on it. Um, so. Don't put any of your uh, entries on, say, on YouTube con comments. Please go and find the Facebook page. Uh, don't put them on Instagram. Go and find that Facebook um, page and find the uh, find the post at the at the top of that Facebook page. So, uh, so just that little tip. So, anyway, hope you've had a good week. I've had a great week. See you next week.